What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're seeing yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called Start, which is an app, though it is a lot more a lock screen, which is why you're looking at my lock screen right here. Um, it's a very powerful one. It's actually one we've looked at before, um, and it's only gotten better since the last time we really had a strong look at it. Um, for your Android, Android phone, honestly, this is our preferred lock screen just because of its versatility, how good looking it is, and uh, all the different tools and features that it comes loaded with. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of show you how this works, uh, give you a basic overview of Start. It is worth noting that this is a free lock screen in the Google Play Store, so you can grab it at any point if you want to play along at home. Definitely. Um, not a hard bargain there in terms of price, but let's show you what you're going to get for that $0 down. So this is the main lock screen, and as you can see, you've got a couple different things along the sidebar here. You can change all of this simply by sliding and then uh, hitting settings, changing the background, whatever you want to do. You can even add more themes, um, which we'll show you more of in just a second. But uh, at its most basic level, if you want to flick this open, you can click this. You have this nice fade effect, and then you can go to all of your different email applications. You can call people. There I am. You can do your phone. Or you can go to your favorite apps. There are a couple of these here, and to select any of these, simply slide them into place. And you can go straight there. Likewise, you can just unlock it using that. I'm going to do none of that because we want to stay here on the lock screen. If you want to search from web, you can simply tap the button and then it will load straight to the uh, the Google searcher itself. Uh, that's really easy because you can actually just tap and then say, OK, Google, and have it do its thing. Uh, along the side here, we do have these images where you can create a photo album. And you can simply slide through your images uh, if you're stuck somewhere and want to have a quick look. At some of your favorite photos, you usually can. Not a big problem there. Uh, and just kind of showing you some of the general features on the side here. So that's one of them. Um, Facebook, you can slide and see your Facebook. You can also get some weather um, in a pinch. Um, it's going to update. I have some problems updating just because um, it doesn't know where my location is, but that would be there. Um, you can also do um, a Have You Heard, which is kind of a, a news slash, um, you know, to say news update, etc., etc. Um, down here we've also got playlists, um, and what are you actually don't know? Make a face. Stickers, I think that's stickers. Yes, we have stickers where you can drag and drop these into place. Um, if you want them, that's a cat's one. Um, stickers there. And finally, we have quick settings. So from here, you can adjust different things. So I've got um, sound, I can turn that to vibrate, to mute, normal, Wi-Fi, flashlight, turn that on if I want. It's going to be very bright. <laughs> Um, but that's actually really useful. We like the quick settings tab a lot. You want to change any of this? Not a hard problem. Simply slide back and forth. Of course, you can't slide these out to get the nice fade effect. Slide them back. And then we get the sidebar. Slide here. Very, very intuitive. Very quick. Uh, within the settings panel, here you can uh, set up your widgets, set up your theme. Uh, you can turn off system lock. Let's see, screen time. You can adjust that as well. And then some more information about the bug, the uh, excuse me, the app itself, as well as the ability to report bugs. You can also just turn it off anytime you want simply by clicking that. Um, I actually do want to turn that back on, so thank you. All right, so from here we can simply set up our widgets. We got date, clock, battery meter, uh, change widget sizes. We can do all of this all right from this main settings application. And then you can also set up your theme. So we've only got one theme in the more at the moment, but if we want more, we can do this. It'll go to the uh, appropriate website and we can actually download more themes. There are a few of these. Um, you know, honestly, we dig the main theme itself. But if you wanted to, you can easily flick through these and find some uh, good ones to choose from. Some of these kind of bokeh effects we like a lot. Bokeh. All right. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just go back to the main lock screen. <laughs> You know, aside from um, all those things that we've mentioned, you know, one of the things that we like most about Start is that it's extremely user-friendly. It's also very well designed. Often these Start uh, slash lock screen apps are kind of uh, cumbersome, kind of loaded down uh, with various things. But, you know, this one's very streamlined. It's very easy, especially this. This nice ring effect works. Uh, HTC did something kind of like this back in the day, but this is actually better. Um, you know, and in our opinion, this sliding mechanic is great. Basically, it takes it, uh, the same concept as something like a smartwatch. A smartwatch takes away the need to fully use your phone every time you want to check something. You know, that sounds lazy, but it actually makes a lot of sense because if I'm on my lock screen and I just want to see what the weather's like, then I can simply flick this out, get my quick weather, flick it, turn off my phone. That kind of thing. Very, very quick, very snappy. Um, not a lot of issues there. And it actually makes life easier. Um, 
Same thing if I just want to call one person. So if I go here, here are my favorites, and click that, it's done, that kind of thing. Um, same thing with cameras, you can go to your camera, go to your photo library, your video library, any of that. Um, you know, of course, you can change these, but um, you know, all in all, it's snappy, it's gorgeous, it's totally free, and it comes with a crap load of functionality. I mean, there's no nice way to put it, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and in terms of lock screens, this is probably better than the standard Android one. This kind of thing really becomes important, especially if you're using um, a kind of what we'd call a vanilla basic Android phone, and you want to expand its functionality quite a bit. Uh, very quick and easy way to do that. Oh, and you also can uh, change the various security settings too, so do the swipey swipeys or um, you know anything else that you want. I actually don't want to do that. So let's go back. Um, handy doing review, we're going to simply turn it on and off again, and there it comes. Anyway, so with all that in mind, Start is still our favorite lock screen app, and honestly, we can't do anything less than 5 out of 5 for it. Uh, again, it's just our favorite, and if you're looking for a quick way to expand your uh, phone's functionality, it just doesn't get any easier. Um, this is their seasonal lock games, Gifts from Santa, by the way, so you can play this right here on your lock screen um, via simple download from the Google Play Store if you want to grab that. Very, very easy. Um, <laughs> you know, and that's kind of the uh, the simple attention to detail that they um, have included here. It's just, um, you know, seasonal things like that, um, as well as a constant attention to updating and improving what is already here with the Start uh, lock screen itself. Anyway, with all that in mind, again, a 5 out of 5 for the Start application, and that is all I have to say about it, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. All right.